A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain how to find per unit value of each component in a power system and how to draw the impedance diagram with one problem. See the problem number one. Figure shows the single line diagram of power system. Draw impedance diagram. Choose a base of 100 MVA 220 kV in 50 ohm transmission line. Rating of generators etc are under. Generator rating is given. Then rating of the motor is given. Rating of the three phase transformer T1 is given. Rating of the next three phase transformer T2 is given. Rating of the transmission line also given that is 50 ohm J50 ohm. First of all, we are going to choose the base for overall power system. So what is the base? The base already given is 100 MVA. So base MVA equal to 100 MVA. So this 100 MVA, that is the base of all the components. MVA base for all the components in the power system. Next I am going to find out base voltage of each component. How many components here? Generator, transformer 1, component number 2, transmission line, component 3, Again one transformer component 4 and motor component 5. So each component we should know what is the base KV. So if we know the base KV then only we can find out the per unit value. So now what is the base KV for the generator? This transformer what is the rating given? 33 bar 220 kV. Primary of the transformer is connected to the generator. What is the voltage here? 33 kV. Base kV of the generator and transformer 1 both are same that is 33 kV. And next consider the transformer 2. The secondary of the transformer 1 is connected to the primary of the transformer 2. What is the rating? 220 bar 11 kV. These 220 volt, 220 volt both are connected by the transmission line. For a transmission line the base kV given is 220 kV and then base kV for transformer 2 and the motor. Secondary of the transformer 11 kV. The 11 kV line is connected to the motor. So both having 11 kV. Transformer 2 and motor base kV equal to 11 kV. And next I am going to find out per unit value of each component. Solution. First of all I am going to find out the base impedance of the transmission line. For a transmission line base kV given is 220 kV and base MVA is 100 MVA. So first of all, I am going to find out base impedance of the line. Base impedance of the line. So what is the base impedance? V square divided by P. That is the base impedance. So what is V? V is 220 square into 10 power 6 divided by 100 into 
10 power 6. So what is the value? 484, 484 ohm. So after getting the base impedance of the line, next I am going to find out the per unit impedance of the line. So what is the per unit value? The per unit equal to actual divided by actual value divided by base value. So actual impedance divided by base impedance. So what is the actual impedance? Actual impedance is the impedance given. That is J50 ohm. And divided by what is the base value? Base value is now only we got that is 484 ohm. So what is the answer? The answer is J 0 0.1033 per unit. So these are about the transmission line. And next I am going to find out how to find out the per unit value of the transformer 1. Here Y to Y transformer is a transformer 1. Here base KV is 33 KV. That is the old, old base. And the old MVA is 40 MVA. But what is the new base? The new base for this generator and the transformer is new base KV is 33 KV and what is the new MBA? New MBA is 100 MBA. So first of all I am going to find out the per unit of the transformer 1. So is it PU new? is equal to Z PU old into MBA new divided by MBA old into KV old by KV new the whole square. What is Z PU old? Z PU old is 0 0.15. What is MBA new? MBA new is 100. What is MBA old? That is 40. In the KV old is, KV old is 33. KV new also 33. So what is the answer? The answer is J 0. J 0.375. So this is the answer for transformer 1. And next I am going to find out is that PU new for the generator. So what is is that PU new for the generator? Is that PU new equal to is that PU old? For a generator, Z PU is for 20 by 100, that is 0 0.2. Put J here into MVA new. So what is the MVA new? MVA new is 100. What is the MVA old for the generator? That is 40 into what is KV old? KV old for the generator is 25. What is KV new? KV new is 33. The whole square. That is equal to what? Have to multiply this and take a square here. We'll get the answer 0. Point J0.287 point per unit. All the values you have to mention the per unit because all the values are changed into per unit. Next three components are over. Next I am going to find out per unit value of Y2 delta transformer. The start to delta transformer 30 MVA old base and 220 divided by 11 KV. So this is the 
ओल्ड बेस ओल्ड बेस के वी एंड न्यू के वी इज लेवन के वी इज न्यू के वी एंड न्यू एम एज हंड्रेड एम बी ए सो फर्स्ट ऑफ आल आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द पेर यूनिट वैल्यू ऑफ ट्रांसफार्मर टू सो वट इज द फार्मूला इज पी यू न्यू ईक्वल टू वट इज इज पी यू न्यू इज पी यू ओल्ड सो इज पी यू ओल्ड Is it? This is the Y two delta transformer. Is it P U old is zero point one five into O oh, new M B A new M B A is hundred M B A. This is common for all hundred. So what is the old M B A? Old is thirty M B A. Thirty into what is the old base? Old base is eleven. What is the new base? New base also eleven. So this cancel and we get the answer J zero point five per unit. Okay. Next, I am going to find out the motor. Is it P U new of the motor? What is is it P U new of the motor? So first of all, in a synchronous motor, I am going to write the impedance value zero point three J zero point three into Old new MBA, new MBA is hundred. Old MBA is fifty. Into old KB, old KB is what? Old KB is eleven. New KB also eleven. So now we get the answer J zero point six is the answer. So now we got the per unit value of all the components in power system so this is the way to find out the per unit value and this is the way to uh, choose the mba and kv for all the component in the power system so after finishing this i am going to draw the impedance diagram and next time i am going to explain how to draw the impedance diagram already we got the answer g is, g is equal to generator j0.287 and t1 j0.375 transmission line j0.1033 transformer 2 j0.5 and motor j0.6 so how to draw the impedance diagram for the impedance diagram I have to use the symbol for generator, transformer, transmission line, and motor. So, how to draw the symbolical representation for the generator? First, draw the generator. Here, this is E G. E G is the generator voltage that is in series with the impedance that is inductor, and then this is the way of expressing the transformer 1 and this is the transmission line and next the transformer 2 and how to represent the motor this is the representation of motor here em and this is the impedance value have to mention the impedance value here first of all i have to put the values one by one so first i have to put the generator value j0.287 transformer 1 j0.375 transmission line j0.1033 and transformer 2 j0.5 motor j0.6 so this is the impedance diagram thank you have a nice day